Okay, so I want to share an interesting story about music and my, uh, I guess my journey towards music and how funny things are in life sometimes. You know, during my teenage years, music was such a huge influence on me that it was almost like, uh, I don't know what, if I want to call it an obsession or it was just so much a part of me that it was almost like it consumed my entire life, right? So here's what's funny about this. Uh, I didn't listen to music at all as a kid. And uh, <laughs> it's funny because of why. Now, the reason I wanted to make this video is because I'm not sure I've ever actually heard this before. I've never heard someone saying it out loud. And I wanted to actually record a video because it's so ridiculous that at least one video has to be out there in the universe that explains it the way I will. So here I am as a teenager. As a teenager and a person in my 20s, I was so obsessed with music and it was such a big part of my life that it's hard to believe that as a kid I didn't listen to music. You're thinking, how the hell could you not listen to music as a kid? <laughs> okay, so I remember one day I was in the living room with my parents and my sister and we were watching we're watching some music on TV, you know? I don't know, something, I don't know what artist or band, but it was just some music on TV. Someone was singing. Someone was singing, and my parents looked at me, and I had this look on my face like, uh, they can tell uh, I was slightly uncomfortable, but didn't exactly know what was going on. So they turn over to me and they're just kind of like, well, what's going on? And, uh, and I said, eh, I don't like music. And they're like, what, what do you mean you don't like music? I go, I can't watch it. It's just, it, it, it makes my skin crawl. It makes my hair stand up. I, 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 I can't listen to it. And they would be like, oh no, that's good. That means it's emotional. That means it's getting to you. And. It took me so many years to realize that the reason I didn't listen to music as a kid was not that I didn't like music. It was actually too overwhelming for me to listen to it. It was too emotional, which is so crazy to think that I didn't listen to music as a kid because it, it was too, it made me feel too much. Which is kind of, I'm not sure if I've ever heard someone say that. I didn't listen to music as a kid because it made me feel too much. But I look back at that and it's so funny because I had no idea what was going on. Like, I remember, especially singers, if I would ever hear someone sing well, there was just an energy about it that was so magical to me that it overwhelmed my body. So that kind of makes sense why when I became a teenager and I started discovering all these bands that I liked, it became such a huge part of my life because to me it was like the greatest drug. It was like the greatest natural drug you can possibly have. Like if you ask me what, what made me feel the highest, it was that. It was always music. Music came before everything. Music came, uh, music came before girls. Music came before anything. Anything that typically a, like a teenager would be obsessed about. For me, it was music. But the reason I wanted to make this video is because la last night, I had this feeling that I haven't had in a while where I was just laying down listening to this concert having a good pair of headphones on and just listening to this concert and 
it gave me that feeling I used to have when I was younger and that that magical feeling that music used to give me. And since I was very young, I've always looked at human life in this way of what is this life? What are we doing here? Because I've always looked around and I thought to myself, is this really it? We're just some monkeys trying to survive. That's all that's going on here. We're just some monkeys trying to procreate and survive. That's it. This is what this is. And I know it's cliche and obvious, but there's certain times when I'll listen to music. I'm listening to this concert last night and there's like five guys on stage playing this music. And it just seems like magic to me. It seems like I can't believe these monkeys did this. I can't believe these primitive silly monkeys just breaking rocks and trying to survive and procreate can create this. And it, it's almost like it can't really exist. I sometimes listen to it. I can't believe that it exists because it's so beyond that monkey brain of just trying to survive and procreate that it literally makes you feel like there's got to be more. We can't just be these apes trying to survive. And music, the two things that make me feel that way is music and uh, is music and someone who selflessly loves someone unconditionally without wanting anything in return. Um, there's all these cliche sayings like you can judge the character of a man by what he does when no one's looking or when he helps someone and no one knows that he helps someone. There's all these cliche sayings, but there's just something so powerful about uh, there's just something so powerful about selflessness or doing something so beyond the basic survival procreation thing, you know? So those two things for me is doing something so incredibly selfless or loving someone so purely and unconditionally and also the idea of creating art and music. It's To me, it's like they're the farthest thing beyond just the basic needs of survival and procreation. And I was inspired to make this video because last night while I was listening to that, I haven't had that feeling in a while. Okay, and music, I still love music. I still love listening to music. And once in a while, it still gives me that feeling it used to give me when I was younger. And when I get that, it's that one thing that makes me feel like, my God, there's got to be more than this. Because there's just no way these primitive apes just trying to survive and procreate can create this. There's just no way. Like, there's just a magic to it that's just out of this world. It really does make you feel like there are other dimensions existing, right? Uh... It's beyond anything we understand with science. It's beyond anything. Yeah, sure, science talks about the potential of other dimensions and what they are and how they exist. But when you see art at its highest form, it literally makes you feel like there's got to be another dimension that we tap into because there's no way this is all coming from these primitive apes trying to survive and procreate. And uh, yeah, it's just... It's so, it's so incredible and it was like so nice to be listening to that last night and get that feeling again that I used to have from it. And, uh, but it's funny how it all started. It all started as me being a kid saying, uh, I, I, I don't like music. It, it makes my skin crawl. It makes my hair stand up. It's too much. <laughs> uh, little did I know that it really was too much because 
Yeah, it really was too much because when I got to be a teenager and I listened to it, it was all consuming. It was too much, but I loved it. It was just so crazy. Um, so yeah, that's my story. I didn't listen to music as a kid because it was too much. And now I understand why. And that's it. Have a beautiful day. Bye.